You know, in a lot of things you visualize something. In the holographic breathing, that's not what we're doing. We're not visualizing things. We're using our awareness to feel things or we're viewing things that are actually there or we are actually going to that place. One thing that is available in holographic breathing that was really I've, just natural for me but now but was marked at the beginning when I became was doing holographic breathing became aware of say my stomach I would actually go there I would go to my stomach my spirit would move to my stomach so when I became aware of my stomach it's not I wasn't visualizing my stomach I was being aware of it I was seeing it feeling it but also there was another aspect I was traveling there my spirit was embodying that place so that is a different aspect and that is what we are honing a lot of the time in holographic breathing and that is a spiritual endeavor because if you are viewing something not only viewing something you're also becoming aware of the viewer if you are traveling somewhere in your body and feeling something you are becoming aware of the viewer of the perceiver and that is a bit the same as asking the question on an intellectual level who am I this is asking that question on an experience level what am I and what am I feeling so why this is important is when we're viewing the face per se we are used to perceiving the face I'm showing it to you on the outside and you're perceiving it on the outside so when you're viewing that in yourself to actually view it you may be coming to the side of yourself and feeling one side many people when they're doing a holographic breathing they can say feel one side of the jaw but they're not feeling the other side and that's because maybe they're viewing from the outside here so in this webinar we're going to become more aware of the positioning of the viewer where are we viewing from and for us to know where we are viewing from we are becoming aware of the viewer and the viewer isn't the intellect the viewer isn't our emotions it isn't our body so it instantly just in that dynamic takes you out of your normal paradigm and we're going to view from the inside but also include the outside so normally I will show you from the outside but we're also going to look from the inside and with the face Uh, come on come out let's take that off so we're just going to do the energies of the face in the first circuit so I describe it in that way normally but we're going to look from this way as if we are viewing from inside the back of our head we're sitting back into the back of the head so we can go there we can become aware of it and be in the bones there and experience it that way and we can sit back into the back of our head we are viewing straight through the sphenoid but then we can view the interior of the face so we're going to look at the energies as from viewing inside so we're not actually coming outside of our body to the side 
to view it. So, at the back of the jaw, on the outside, on the inside, we have the more grounded energies on both sides. And notice if you view from here, you can take into account both sides of the jaw. If you view from here, you can only really properly take in one side. So it is important to be able to perceive where you are. And as soon as you do that, you are not all the other things that you normally <laughs> perceive yourself to be. <laughs> and then you've got move and the top of the jaw where it's joining the cranium here is more the higher energies in the jaw and can you see it there where it goes up inside the from the outside you can see the jaw going up behind the um, zygomatic arch from the inside can you see it coming up here and see it's coming right up to the level there's a gap here, it's coming right up to the level of the eyes. So that is the higher energies for the jaw, this is the higher energies for the jaw, and this is the lower earth energies. So in the jaw, there's a direct connection between the lower energies and the higher energies. Then we move into the fire circuit. I'm <laughs> having to do this backwards. From the back of the jaw here, we have the fire circuit. Then I'll show you in the front as well. It rises up to the front of the upper jaw, which is kind of right in the front. Then the middle of the roof of the mouth. Then the nasal conchers inside the nose there. You see those? They seal off, or they don't completely seal off. They're on either side of the <coughs> uh, maxillary sinuses and then it rises up making the in internal face of the eyes which is the higher energies for the fire circuit these are the high energies for the fire circuit these are the grounded earth energies for the fire circuit so there we have the fire circuit from the fire circuit we move into the blue energy, uh, the red, en yellow energies, and I will show this from the front because it's not easy. Well, you may be able to see it right in the middle. From the back, you have the nose, the arch of the nose there. From the front, there it is the yellow energies of the nose, and this is joining in to the higher energies for the yellow energies, more heart energies, and where it's connecting to the tongue which is the yellow energies you have the tongue here which is yellow energies it connects to the nose and the yellow energies in the nose through this bit here and then at the back we have the palatine bones on the roof of the mouth this is more the lower energies for the yellow energies then as it comes up next to the maxillary sinuses it's more the middle energies and where it connects into the eyes that's the higher energies for it so all of these colors and all of these circuits in the face have a hara have a heart have an intellect and the combination of all three of those open up through into transcendence into the higher self so then that's the yellow energies then from the yellow energies, we move into the maxillary sinuses. Now you can't really see these well, very well from the front. You see, oh, it's in here. And you can't really see it very well from the nasal passageways because you nas nasal consciousness. Away. But notice the size of these. You can really get an idea of the size of the maxillary sinuses, which are the lungs for the face. You can get a much better view of those actually from the back has the two lungs and there's a lower part to them the inside of the upper jaw on both sides 
the outside of the upper jaw on both sides then you have the whole interior which is more the emotional side then you have them making the underside the eyes which connects them to the higher energies for that circuit then the zygomatic arch the blue energies they travel from inside the lower nose there around the zygomatic and again most, when you look at them do it from the side mainly people can just do one side or the other but when you become aware of them from the back you get a horseshoe you're between them so you get a horseshoe going right around this and you can view and be with the whole of that so that's the blue energies they connect and make the inside face of the eyes which is the higher energies for that circuit the very whoops the very front it's lower energies and if you move out each way so the penis vagina in the middle then you come out to the bladder you come out to the kidneys and then where it connects into the eyes and where the zygomatic arch goes a bit further back that is the higher connection so the jaw has a higher connection they all have a higher connection into the eyes all of those circuits so i was going to try and be less complicated but as always when it's held internally i just think well yeah that's all there but actually explaining it there's loads of it so i've described that when we go through that you don't have to go through it in the detail that i've described it and in the perceiving of it if i'm asking you to do something or be in a place it's not a command i may be saying it as a command but you may be drawn to it in a different way or have a different color or have a different experience be with your own experience i'm not trying to hold you in a particular way. i'm just bringing your awareness to a particular area how i experience it and how many people experience it but you may have a completely different way of perceiving things and going about things that I do. So be in your own way of doing it is perfect for you. So that is the face. The cranium is a bit simpler. Um, how to do this. So we just, the occiput at the back here I'm going to take it apart now I haven't colored the inside yet so I'm going to put it together bit by bit the occiput at the back deep dark energies and as with the face where it comes up into the TMJs in the cranium you've got it connecting to the higher energies at the top of the occiput. Now, this is still the occiput here. The join with the sphenoid is here, but this part, last part is the higher, the red energies. This is more to do with the lower red energy that comes up. The legs that drop down here, this is the ovaries, testes. The spine that comes down Voma inside the nose it starts as the uterus and prostate at the bottom and then comes up as the heart and connects the heart the sphenoid and where it's connecting into the eyes higher energies for the red energies for the cranium so that so you may be sitting round here somewhere as the viewer and you can be pulled forwards into the bones and be part of the bones and experience them so we're not just becoming aware of things we're actually becoming aware of the viewer as well then the yellow energies 
Not exactly. I think it, it's about there, I think. Sits on the front of the sphenoid there. This is coming down inside the eyes. So that is about there. I can't put it in yet because you need some other bones. Then, uh, and looking from the inside, that's where, when you're looking at the sphenoid, that's what you'll be looking at. <laughs> so, in the same way that a cranial sacral therapist would learn about these bones and maybe the energies of the cranial sacral fluid and be able to feel those in another person. They're also feeling them in themselves. We're doing the same thing. We're becoming aware of our bones in ourselves. We're becoming aware of how we perceive them and the viewer. And we're using the breath in holographic breathing to balance and heal those bones. So from the back where we're sitting in here inside the occiput then out to the side you have the two wings of the um, temporal bones and right in front of you you have the sphenoid unfortunately I haven't colored them yet then as I said the yellow is um, around here somewhere then oh yeah let's put the yellow in there okay then we have the frontal bone so we can you can view from the outside if you want the view from the back if you're inside there you actually the only bit that's colored is the top of the sphenoid there and you're viewing the inside of the frontal bone you can also come into the frontal bone and just be aware of the whole bone inside and outside but in a way you can go through from the inside but whichever way round you want to do it um, you know, you can just view it from the outside if you want, but also there's the invitation to feel it from the inside and let it expand out into the outside. I'm just hoping this is going to be a bit easier for you. Now, on the underside, here you have underneath the where the temporal bones go into the cranial base. That's more the lower energies for the white energies, the, the lung energies, then the actual upper temporal bones, that's more the heart energies and middle bones and where it comes up into the parietal bones, that's the higher energies for that. Whoops, a daisy. When it comes into the frontal bone, Got the vagina and penis in the middle, the more earth energies, the bladder, more heart coming out to the side, the kidneys, which are higher, but more like the lungs, and then the adrenals, which are the higher energies for the blue energies. These also connect into the eyes here. And the top of the eyes, when we, oh, I didn't say it in, in the last one, the, uh, from the face, the high energies for the face are the eyes and the top of the jaw there where it the head of the where the jaw comes into the cranium those two kind of holes of the eyes and the holes of there the higher energies for the eyes and the eyes are the sorry the higher energies for the face and the eyes are actually part of that and all of the colors come together to make violet and in the head the top of the head higher energies the back part here where it's dropping into the occiput is the cerebellum so for something that I thought was going to be 
<laughs> not complicated. That's quite complicated. So you're not expected to get that in the detail that I've shown it. You would have perceived it internally just by me showing it as this. Let me put the face on. So this isn't going to be go on very good, but uh, there we have them both together. So we'll go through both and then at the end we will just perceive it rather than because I don't think it will happen so strongly if we just become aware of the face and the cranium together. I don't think it has that intense experience of burning through the different nerves as those two different nervous systems come together. And when they come together, generally it will earth and connect up into the higher self, but gives a whole feel. Um, so as I say, take it simply, become aware of it in whatever way is easiest for yourself and whatever you are perceiving is fine. I am not the end and be all of it. Your experience is the important part. I just an energy comes through when I start the meditations and it highlights those areas in myself and I describe that. I'm also aware of the energies of the group at the same time but I'm fully aware that everybody will be experiencing it in their own way and that is completely honoured. So here is a picture of um, got the cerebrum at the top, We've got the brain stem rising up inside the middle. This is like a little person relates to the head, the throat, heart and lungs, pelvis, legs. You've got the cerebellum also rising up here. You've got the tentorium dividing top and bottom here the brain stem rises up between it we're going to be working with the energies of the cerebrum and of the cerebellum and where the I'm not exactly sure where it is I think somewhere around here will be where the TMJs are where the jaw joins into the cranium working with those points and the eye sockets where the eye sockets around here somewhere I think so yeah that would be the eye sockets there and that would be the TMJs I think back there um, so let's look at and that is it from the front without the cerebrum the cerebrum is over here. There's two halves, it's split in the middle, so you have two halves of the cerebrum, you have two halves of the cerebellum and the brain stem rising up the middle. These are the ventricles. And in the cranium, you've got the mauve at the top of the eyes there, leading to the top of the head and the yellow the red, the blue and the white together. When this is a light shining, I'm not sure about color colors, but when light is shining, if you bring red, blue, yellow together, they make violet, because I've got lights. I work doing healing sessions, and that's what they make. So that makes a violet color, relates to here and here. This is more the cerebrum, this is more the cerebellum, and then where, so it's the eyes connecting to that in the head, and then the top of the jaw, the arms and legs, kind of for the face, 
and then the socket that the jaw goes into is the arms and legs for the cranium. So the arms and legs and for the cranium and face are right next to each other. So it's the socket for the jaw, the socket for the eyes are the higher energies. The arms and legs are part of the higher energies. They also ground it. They give it a ground. They also connect it into the spine. Now, also, what we will be doing in that, we're connecting the energies, higher energies of the face, with the higher energies of the cranium. So we're bringing together those two different spheres of energy, the general energy of the face and the general energy of the cranium. So for this particular area we're bringing them together and they're creating something new and it is also bringing together the cranial nerves. The cranial nerves feed the eyes and the eye sockets and the muscles in the eyes and the nerves come the spinal nerves which come around the cranium. So we're bringing together those two different nervous systems and when they first start working backwards and forwards through those nerves, it will start cleansing those nerves and it will start cleansing those whole two different nervous systems. So just allow that in your awareness. So there may be some discomfort. So to start off with, you may feel it working through the nerves and there's a certain amount of all and you feel very grounded, you feel very stuck in your body. There's no kind of access to the higher self when that is happening. It's like you're right here. But as that starts working through, as that connection between the cranial nerves and the spinal nerves starts connecting all those pathways, then once that starts going, then there is this connection up to the higher self and the spine. So you might, to start off with, feel like you're hitting on something or just very held in your body or in your nerves. This is not absolute. You, you may feel that. It's not like before where we were doing it with every part of the face and cranium. We're doing it with one part. Um, but after a while it will get more and more connecting to higher self and then it's also really good to use this connection to the arms and legs which are part of the higher energies but connect downwards through the spine and activate the kundalini. Okay, um, I'm just going to take the jaw out and show you the socket that it fits into. There, there's the socket. And there's the ears. And a tiny, thin bone between them. So they're almost the ears in a way. If you put your finger there, open and close your jaw, you can feel it going up and down. And it's not the jaw, it's the socket it's going into that we're interested in. 